have now heard the leading arguments from the two candidates for the high office of United States Senator from Illinois, Judge Stephen A. Douglas and Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Each of the candidates will now speak in rebuttal. Judge Douglas. My fellow citizens, my good friend Mr. Lincoln has addressed you with his usual artless sincerity, his pure homely charm, his perennial native humors. Like Brutus, in Shakespeare's immortal tragedy, Mr. Lincoln is an honorable man. But also like Brutus, he is an adept at the art of inserting daggers between an opponent's ribs just when said opponent least expects it. Behold me, ladies and gentlemen, I am covered with scars. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln harps constantly on this subject of equality. He repeats over and over the argument used by Lovejoy and other abolitionists to it that the Declaration of Independence, having declared all men free and equal by divine law, thus Negro equality is an inalienable right. Contrary to this stands the verdict of the Supreme Court in the case of Dred Scott. Mr. Lincoln is a lawyer, and I presume, therefore, that he knows that when he seeks to destroy public confidence in the integrity, the inviolability of the Supreme Court, he is preaching revolution. He asks me to state my opinion of the Dred Scott decision, and I answer him unequivocally by saying I take the decisions of the Supreme Court to be the law of the land, and I intend to obey them as such. Now will I be swayed from that position by all the ranting of all the fanatics who preach racial equality, who would ask us to vote, eat, sleep, and marry with Negroes. And I say further, let each state mind its own business and leave its neighbors alone. If we'll stand on that principle, then Mr. Lincoln will find that this great republic can exist forever divided into free and slave states, and we can go on, as we have done, increasing in wealth, in population, in power, until we shall become the admiration and the terror of the world. <laughs> Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Now, you've heard the judge make allusion to those who advocate voting and eating and marrying and sleeping with Negroes. Whether he meant me specifically, I do not know. If he did, I can only say that just because I do not want a colored woman for a slave, I do not necessarily want her for a wife. I do not need to have her for either. I can just leave her alone. In some respects, she is certainly not my equal any more than I am the judge's equal in uh, some respects. But in her natural right to eat the bread she earns with her own hands without asking leave of somebody else, she is my equal and the equal of all others. The purpose of the Dred Scott decision is to make property and nothing but property of the Negro in all states of the Union. As a nation, we began by declaring all men are created equal. There was no mention of any exception to that rule in the Declaration of Independence. But we now practically read it, all men are created equal except Negroes. What is to stop us in future from decreeing, all men are created equal except Negroes, foreigners, Catholics, Jews, or just poor people? This is the complacent policy of indifference to evil. And that policy I cannot but hate. I hate it because it deprives our republic of its just influence in the world. Enables the enemies of free institutions everywhere to taunt us as hypocrites. Causes the real friends of freedom to doubt our sincerity. In his final words tonight, the judge said that we can be the terror of the world. I don't think we want to be that. 
I think we would prefer to be the encouragement of the world. The proof that at last man is worthy to be free. But we shall provide no such encouragement unless we can establish our ability as a nation to live and grow. And we shall surely do neither if these states fail to remain united. There can be no distinction in the definition of liberty as between one section and another, one class and another, one race and another. A house divided against itself cannot stand. This government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. Hey!